Do you believe that only one person can make difference in our world, on our whole planet? I do. Let's see who is the great filmmaker in my opinion ever. Hello, this is 0.5 Clown, the best filmmaker in the whole universe and cinema maniac in the whole world. And you are watching now the cinema magazine. We will talk today about a great director in our planet. We will talk today about Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel as we present every single day a different episode. Talk about cinema and filmmaking and cinema news and the new news and fixing in post and editing tutorials, filmmaking tutorials, actor scandals and juicy news, anything related to cinema. Also like and comment to this video. Comment in the section in the comment section below. Ask me anything you want to know about cinema and filmmaking and I'll be more than happy to comment you back and reply your answer. Let's start today's episode. One last thing, exclusive to 0.5 Clowns fans. Only for this channel. If you wanna win this great H1N4 Zoom recorder represented by Zoom company, we have like six or seven remaining of this great Zoom. Just answer the question at the end of this episode and email us the right answer. One right answer will be chosen randomly and win this great Zoom. Right answer and the winner will be announced tomorrow in our new episode. You will find the email address in the description below. Let's start today's episode. In the documentary, the amazing material has been created by God. Where in the fiction films, the director is a God. He must create life. A great sentence by a great director, Sir Alfred Hitchcock. Sir Alfred Hitchcock was an English-American film director who pioneered significance in the movie industry of the mid-20th century. He is most famous for producing the four classic films, especially of the thriller kind. Good evening. Hitchcock is considered one of the greatest film producers of the 20th century. Some of his most famous films include 39 Steps, Rear Window, Vertigo, and Psycho. Alfred Hitchcock was born 13 August 1899 in Essex in England, where he studied at the Roman Catholic Silesian College and later ST. Ignatius College. He suffered from opacity, a result of a glandular condition, and his parents were strict and somewhat remote. When he was just five, his father sent him to a police station with a note that he should be locked up for five minutes, which left him with a lifelong fear of authority and the police in particular. During his childhood, the young Alfred would often spend time by himself inventing games and drawing maps. When he was 15, he left college to study at London County Council School of Engineering and Navigation. This qualified him to be a draftsman. He gained his first job with a telegraph company, but it was around this time he developed a burgoing interest in cinema, which was a recent innovation. In the evening after work, he would watch films and study the cinema trade newspaper. Towards the end of the First World War, he attempted to join the army but he was rejected because of his weight, although he did later manage to sign up for a brief time as a cadet in the Royal Engineers. After the war, he began writing short stories, which were published in his company in-house magazine. Hitchcock also developed an interest in photography and the new art of film production. 
In the mid 1920s, he traveled to Germany where he picked up many of the emerging techniques used in the modern filmmaking. After a few challenging early films, he gained his first commercial and critical success with The Lodger, a story of a London folk. By 1929, he had produced 10 films. His 10th film, Blackmail, was a significant moment for him because it was one of the first talkers. By the mid-1930s, Hitchcock was establishing his reputation as one of the leading film producers in Britain. Several films proved a great success, such as 39 Steps and The Lady Vanishes. Hitchcock proved a master at creating tension and a fast-moving plotline. He didn't tie down the audience in detail, but creating scenes of dramatic tension. Hitchcock's critical success in London led him to be approached by David Selznick from Hollywood. In 1939, the Hitchcock family moved to California, where he began working on a new film. His first film, Rebecca, received an Academy Award for Best Picture. Hitchcock was not particularly fascinated by America, but he did enjoy the great resources available to American studios. It was an improvement on the small budget of the English film producers. Towards the end of the Second War, on 1943, he returned to England, where he produced two films in French for the Free French Forces. In 1945, he also served a film editor for a documentary about the concentration camps that were liberated by British troops. After the war, Hitchcock returned to America, where he resumed his long and successful American film career. In particular, he enjoyed developing his talents in creating psychological films. The 1950s was Hitchcock's golden era, producing classic films such as Dale M for Murder, Rare Window, Vertigo, North by Northwest, and Psycho. Psycho was Hitchcock's best known and most profitable film. A prog box office records as viewers flock to view his pioneering new horror kind film. Hitchcock films often share similar elements, responding to criticism of repeated ideas. He once retorted, self plagiarism is style. Hitchcock often portrayed the guilty party as quite a charming man. Often an instant man was accused of being guilty in the first instance by authority, before being able to prove his innocence. His leading leads were often high school blondes, such as Ingrid Bergman, Grace Kelly, and Debbie Hedron. These women were often reserved and called in his films, giving little emotion away. Hitchcock stated, Plants make the best victims. They are like virgin snow that shows up the bloody footprints. Hitchcock was nominated five times for an Academy Award for Best Director, but he never won. And in 1956, he became a U.S. citizen, also he remained a British subject. At the end, Hitchcock passed away on 29 April 1980, at age of 80 years old. But his movies will always be in our hearts. And as he said, the only way to get rid of fears is to make a film about them. Have you planned your vacation yet? You've a choice between sand and... Time for this episode's question. In which movie we hear this sentence? I don't wanna lose heart. I wanna believe as he does. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel 
Also like this video and comment in the comment section below. Ask me anything about filmmaking or cinema and I will answer you back on your comment. Thank you and see you in the next episode.